Hey guys, the Great Kadik here with a quick video to show you guys what my recording setup is for my videos, in case any of you are wondering how I capture the footage I do. I should say right now that I have not been sponsored by any of the companies I talk about in this video. The opinions I express are my own and they are genuine. Now a lot of the ideas that I got for this camera setup come from Paintball Tech PB. Uh, you guys have probably already seen a couple things about this camera setup on that channel, and I don't want to take credit for the idea, so if if you'd like to check out their channel, there's a link below in the description. My method might differ slightly, but a lot of it, like I said, is taken from the ideas on that channel. But here is my recording setup. Now firstly, I think you need to point out that the mask I use is the JT Proflex. You can see it here all bent out of shape because the way it's been sitting in my gear bag for the last few months. Now you'll see why I use this mask in a minute, but first, let me show you the cameras I use. I record all my videos on contour cameras. I like them for how sleek and low profile they are, and they're also very light, which is very helpful. Now the camera on the right is the Contour Rome 2. It's the first Contour that I bought and after using it for a video or two the nice people at Contour saw them and saw fit to send me a new one which is the one on the left. It is the Contour Plus 2 and it has better video quality since it's a newer model. The lens they have on them gets a great wide angle view and they're very very easy to clip onto my mask. Now they both come set to a default of 720p at 60 frames per second but you can go into their settings using their computer application and change it to 1080p where they get much better better video quality, but you lose the 60 frames per second because at 1080 you can only go up to 30 frames. For me, this is a good trade-off because I did want the higher quality. I did like being able to slow the footage down at 60 frames to get some cool slow motion, though I don't terribly miss it having better definition in my videos. Now this brings me back to why I use the JT Proflex. The JT Proflex is the only mask that I'm aware of that has a strap that goes on the outside of the plastic ear all the way up to the goggles, like so. What's important about this is it allows me to use Contour's goggle strap mount to mount the Contour camera directly to the strap. You don't need any glue, any screws, sticky mounts, or anything like that. It just goes right on the strap. It's really simple to use this mount on the JT Proflex. All you have to do is take the base of the mount and slip it underneath the strap making the strap fit into the mount like so. Then you take the mounting cap and force that into the slot and there you go. Again, the JT Proflex is the only mask that I'm aware you can do this with, but if there are any others out there and I don't know about them, please comment below and let me know. So with the goggle strap on my JT Proflex, I'm able to mount the contour camera directly to the side of my mask with a perfect view at everything that I'm seeing. I do use the safety strap on the contour camera to be sure that if it does come off the strap, it doesn't fall off of my head because these cameras aren't cheap and it would suck to lose one out on the field. With the contour in this position, I get footage of everything that I'm seeing when I peek my head out of corners and also everything that I'm shooting at when I'm holding my gun. Now, being right-handed, when I'm holding the gun in my left hand like I sometimes have to do, you really don't see anything. The good news is I'm pretty crappy with my left hand, so I rarely go to it. This could be remedied by putting my other contour on the other side of my mask with another goggle strap mount because the contour cameras have mounting brackets on both sides. Now, I do have another camera, and that is the GoPro Hero 3. Before I got my contour cameras, I used to use this camera mounted onto my mask, which you could probably see in my channel art. This proved very heavy and cumbersome, and it also stuck out a lot, which provided a good target for the people to shoot at. There was also no clean or easy way to mount the camera to my mask. I used the sticky mount that came with it at first, but that fell off with the heat, so I had to then super glue it and gorilla glue it, and it kept falling off and made this big mess, and it still was very heavy and cumbersome, like I said. What I will do with my GoPro now is sometimes use GoPro's handlebar mount and mount it to the barrel of my gun so I can get barrel cam footage as well as my helmet cam footage. Sometimes I'll run them both at the same time, sometimes I'll do one or the other. So that's my camera setup. I hope you guys found this informative and it answered some of your questions. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or critiques on my camera setup. I would appreciate if you liked and shared the video. And don't forget to subscribe because there are more videos on the way. Thanks for watching. See you on the field.